It could be simple diffusion of oxygen into the skin, but it does show that the nostril flaring behavior is doing something. If turtles don't flare their nostrils before they pump water over their skin, they can't move water across their skin effectively. Turtles don't have ears on the outside of their heads, but they can hear sounds. Sound travels through the bones of the skull and the middle ear, which is hidden under the skin behind the eye sockets. However, they wouldn't need to flare their nostrils to do that. The vibrations travel through the body anyway. And since turtles can hear without flaring their nostrils, it can't be related to hearing. They don't get much benefit from the whole thing. Even sea turtles have more skin than you'd expect for an animal of their size. So it's not hard to imagine how they manage to breathe through their skin. They also seem to use it when they're looking for food, some of them at least. The idea is that by pumping water over their skin, they're getting oxygen into their blood, but they're also getting carbon dioxide out of their blood. If that's the case, it would make sense for them to flare out these back openings.